Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise Lord Jesus Christ for all of eternity. Oh, hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Here it is Saturday night. We have a lot that Holy Spirit wants to go through. Amen. Um, once again, we just change the position as far as where we're worshiping tonight. Still in the prayer room, praise God, on the other side, by the entrance door. And as you can see, hallelujah, the cross of Lord Jesus Christ right here, amen. Beautiful picture, right? A beautiful painting that uh, Sister CJ did. What a wonderful job, amen. God bless her. And uh, we're just excited in this new season. You could feel God is doing something new, amen. Doing something new. And I'm just so excited as far as with what God is doing because once again, we trust in Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember, there's power in the name of Lord Jesus. And I pray that you speak life, that you don't speak your current situation, that you don't speak. See, many of us like to like to put out fires. Praise God. And there's nothing wrong with that. Amen. That when there's fires, you put them out. Praise God. But the glory of the abundant life, the glory of the abundant life in Christ Jesus our Lord is that you have the ability and the power to not look at your current situation, but to start speaking blessings into your future where God is. Amen. And I pray in Jesus name that we do that and allow Holy Spirit to just flow through us like never before. Amen. I am so happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. Rejoice! Oh, I'm so happy. Why do I rejoice? Because I am eternally God's property. Amen? I'm eternally God's beloved son. I'm eternal. Hallelujah. Say it with me. I am eternal. I am never going to be separated from my father God, from agape. Amen? Father, son, Holy Spirit. He is God Almighty. Amen? Hallelujah. And I know that we bless God because this is exactly what Lord Jesus Christ taught us when he was on this earth ministering. Amen? And it was exactly what Lord Jesus Christ wanted from all of us as his church to receive him fully and allow God to live through us as children of God. Amen? As his body. Praise God. So before we get started, we have a lot to go through. Praise God. Pray for me. Amen. Listen, it doesn't matter if it's recorded. It doesn't. Are we really going to limit God to that? Rebuke that in Jesus name. Amen. We're going to get into Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit lives in you and in me. Amen. And we're just going to we're just going to bless God as if this was the first time. Amen. I love approaching God like that every, every day. Right. I just love approaching God that way every moment of every day as if this was the first time. Hallelujah. And I encourage you to do the same because guess what? God knows everything, right? God knows everything. And so when we know that God knows everything, all God is asking for us to do is to just bless him. Just to come to his presence. Amen. Plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and say, Father, here I am. Here I am. And I believe with all my heart that that blesses God like no other. When you come to him in the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you come to him boldly saying, Holy Spirit, speak to me. Teach me. Do a mighty work through me. Live in me. Live through me. In Jesus' name. You receive that? Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, for your glory that was manifested. And his name is Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the glory that you displayed on the cross when you forgave us and you took all the sins, all the sins of this world, past, present, and future, on your perfect body. You became the curse so that we are no longer cursed, Father. And I thank you for that. For all of eternity, we worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. You have all the glory, honor, and praise. And Father, the only way we know how is to bless Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are our God. You are our teacher. You are sent from the Father through Lord Jesus Christ to make your home in us as your children. This is your building, Open Arms Community Church, Father. 
And I boldly declare, Father God, until the day that we're raptured out of here, that, Father God, we are covered, paid for by your perfect sacrifice, Lord Jesus Christ. And we are sealed and unified through your Holy Spirit, Father God. Holy Spirit, you know every one of us by name, Father. And I thank you so much. So, Father, beyond everything, we just, we just look through, Father God. We look through. We go beyond. We speak past, Father God, where you are. For you are the Alpha and the Omega. And we thank you, Father. Father, I plead your blood bind up, as always, Father God. Whether it's Pastor John, myself, any elder, any, any beloved child of God, a worshiper, Father God, bind up our mouth that we only speak, Holy Spirit, what you would want us to say, for you are our only teacher. And Father, we know that all we want to do is bless your holy presence. We thank you, Father God, for loving us. We thank you, Father God, for your love, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your peace, Holy Spirit. And it's in your precious holy name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh my goodness. Give somebody a high five. Praise God. Or give yourself a high five. Amen. And don't forget the angels. The angels love a high five. Praise God. All his angels are around us. It's all because of Holy Spirit light in you and in me. And it only, say that word with me, only. It only comes through Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other way. There is no other way. Say that with me. No other way. Only through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get into this. Praise God. We're going to be in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. And praise God, throughout the day today, I was uh, just like you, just spending time with the Father. Amen. And hallelujah. And we just had such awesome uh, devotionals and just conversations and went into the written word and we were going back and forth. And then the glory of God is, is that he says what wants to. He says what he wants to be taught, preached, right? It's all Holy Spirit. Praise God. And so I thought we were going to be in one place. However, Holy Spirit says this is where we're going to be. So we're going to be obedient. And we're just going to start in verse 1. And we're going to go until Holy Spirit says that's, that's enough. And, and uh, however, however God wants it. Praise God. Are you ready? Say amen. Hallelujah. Who is the great amen? Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is the only one worthy. Amen, church family. I know who I'm talking to. This is Saturday night worship service. I know who I'm talking to. Praise God. And let's get into this. Are we beginning to commend ourselves? Verse 1 in chapter 3, 2 Corinthians. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again? Listen to the tone that the Apostle Paul, once again, is addressing in the church. And this is for the church of today. Hallelujah. This is the Holy Bible, the written word. Amen. God breathes this word. Amen. Who is the living word? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the word of God. Amen. And Holy Spirit is the doer of the word. We have a faith God. Can you say that with me? A faith God. What is a faith God? First of all, he is God the Father, God the Son, and God Holy Spirit. Amen. And our faith God is, I believe with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, and I speak. Praise God. That's why God said, let there be light. Amen. That's you, beloved child of God. Hallelujah. That's me. He spoke us into existence. Amen. The light that shines through darkness. Amen. Last time I checked, there was no darkness that can contain light. Light always pierces through darkness. Amen. So I, I charge you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ to pierce through any situation you're going through right now. Maybe you're interceding or standing in the gap for somebody for healing, for breakthrough, amen? Whatever it is, in Jesus' name, God divinely positioned you to be right there so that His light, say it with me, His glory, hallelujah, His glory will shine through you, amen? And His light will go, and guess what? The Word doesn't come back empty, amen? The Word always fulfills what God wants it to do. Hallelujah! Let's just give God praise right there, amen? Woo, hallelujah. I pray that you pray for me because, oh my goodness, we got a lot to go through. Amen. Or do we need, like some people, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves, you yourselves, say it with me, that's me. You yourselves, that's me, 
are our letters written on our hearts, known and read by, say it with me, everybody. Amen? That's everybody. The whole world. Everybody. You show that you are letters from Christ, the result of our ministry, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Amen. Now, isn't that the truth? Praise God. Now, you know that Holy Spirit is teaching us right away. Why is God's tone this way through Apostle Paul? What is happening? Right? Have you ever walked into a situation or heard a conversation? You know, sometimes we have no control over what is overheard, right? It could be somebody arguing or, right, whatever is going on. But have you ever walked into a situation and you're like, what's going on here? Right? Immediately you're like, hmm. Right? Well, of course, this is those moments right here in the written word of God. It's so exciting because here's the Apostle Paul going, look, listen, listen. Are you listening? We have Jesus Christ, amen, but yet you guys now are putting more emphasis on the written law rather than what is written on our hearts through Holy Spirit that only comes through Lord Jesus Christ, amen. I don't want to jump ahead, praise God, the Holy Spirit said we need to reinforce that and go, okay, I, I understand the tone, right? I, I get it, Father. I, I, I see it. I see it. Because praise God, this is your anointing. Say it with me, I am anointed of God. Hallelujah. This is the ministry that you and I carry through Christ our Lord. Here we are just, I say it all the time, glow arms, right? We're just beaming light of God. Hallelujah. It's not our righteousness. No, rebuke that. Amen. We're not worthy, but Lord Jesus Christ is. Amen. He is the worthy one. Hallelujah. Look at the cross, beloved church family. Amen. Look at the cross, hallelujah. You see, you can look at this cross, right? You can look at this cross and you can see the perfect one who was slain on that cross. And hallelujah, glory to God, that's what Father God did. However, if you stop right there and you don't understand truly the magnitude and what God did, this is what's all because he loves you. He's not mad at you. Now, there will come a time when we come back with Lord Jesus Christ where we will judge those who completely denied Holy Spirit. But until that time, God and his mercy and his grace is, is, is enlarging his kingdom. Amen? And how is he enlarging his kingdom? How is God's hand going out and bringing in children? Through you, through me. And all it is is just loving on people and telling them that we serve a good and perfect father and he gave us Lord Jesus Christ. And love has a name. This perfect love, agape, has a name. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And who does Lord Jesus Christ consist of? Amen? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? Who does Holy Spirit consist of? Father, Son, He is Holy Spirit. Amen? And don't you love the fact that God Himself said, enough of the letters on stone, enough of the scrolls, enough, enough. Father God said, here's Lord Jesus. Here's the word alive in front of you. But yet, you know what we did to him. Right? And that's what we did to him. But the glory of God in his forgiveness and his mercy, because Lord Jesus Christ did not come to condemn us, did not come to judge us, Lord Jesus Christ came to save us. That resurrection power that lives in you and me. His name is Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit is the author, right? Is the author that continuously comforts us, leads us, guides us, protects us, right? Shines through us, amen? That heaven right now is within you and me. Right now. Hallelujah, amen? Glory to God. He's head over heels in love with you. Amen. Let's, let's, let's move on. Praise God. All right. Page 1948. I'm just playing. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4. Amen. In my Bible, it is page 1948. <laughs> Don't get crunchy. Amen. Verse 4. Such confidence as this, 
is ours through Christ before God. Not that we are confident in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves. Not that we are. We are not. Amen. That's why Lord Jesus Christ is our Savior. Amen. I know nothing. All I know is Lord Jesus Christ is my Savior, my God, my Lord, my Master. That is all Joey Karangian ever needs to know. That God loves me so much that Lord Jesus Christ came to save me and now he lives in me. And Holy Spirit, I cherish, I treasure Holy Spirit, my God, who lives in me. Which means I don't entertain things that hurt God. I don't. Listen, I'm not even speaking about you right now. So don't get crunchy or mad. I'm not calling anything out in your life. I'm telling you for Joey Karangan, I cannot look at another person with lust. Because immediately I know that I'm hurting Holy Spirit and God himself will say, Son, repent. Plead my holy blood because the enemy tried to put something in front of you. And now you're trying to think about that. Stop. Stop. What do we do as children of God? Whether you get on your face, on your knees, whether you're in your vehicle, wherever it was at, right? Immediately. Father, I'm so sorry I hurt you. Right? Lord Jesus, you do not have to go back on that cross again. You do not. Father, right now, as I plead your blood and I get rid of this, Heavenly Father, I thank you that Holy Spirit, you're so forgiving and loving. This is your life that I breathe. I am your temple. Trish is your daughter, your wife. This is your house. Open Arms Community Church is your church, Father. We are your holy people. These are your holy children, Father God. So, Father, I never want to hurt you. I just bless your holy presence. Amen? See, it's moments like that where that split second, split second, split second worship, right? takes place, right? Are we going to are we gonna allow that thing to come into the eye gate, which the eye gate tries to penetrate, right? As we know the soul, right? And as that soul meditates, whether it's good or bad, right? What, what, what it meditates, it's trying to infiltrate the Holy of Holies. And that's where Holy Spirit says, that's not of me. Amen? I pray in Jesus' name that there's many of you right now that receive that anointing through Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, help me. Amen. This enemy is trying to take me down a season, a road that I know what is, where it's going to end up. It's a dead end. But Heavenly Father, thank you that you rewound time, right? You ever hit rewind, right? You rewound time and you save me right now that I can say, Lord Jesus Christ, I plead your holy blood. And I thank you, Father God, that in your mercy, in your grace, in your presence, in a relationship with you, Father, that you eliminate the distractions of the enemy. Now, does it go away just like that? Sometimes, but not always. Amen? I'm confessing you sometimes, but not always. But you have Jesus Christ as Lord, you pass the test. Because all we have to do is be thankful for Lord Jesus, and immediately Holy Spirit will bring you back to the cross. Will bring you into those situations whether it's in the written word, amen, or in the living word, in you, in me. Holy Spirit will remind you in the, in, the, in the past seasons, right, of what transpired that took you down that road. And immediately you'll say, ah, I don't want none of that. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. And glory to God, that's when his presence manifests an overflow in a beloved child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get, let's get into this. Praise God. We've got a lot to cover. So we don't have confidence in ourselves. We are not competent, okay? We are not. However, let's continue, verse 6. He made us competent. Whoo! You just hit, hit puberty there for a minute. Let's try that again, verse 6. This is unedited now. All our worships are unedited, amen? He, he made us competent, there you go, as ministers of a new covenant. Say with me, hallelujah, new covenant. Not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, and the Spirit gives life. Amen? The letter kills, Holy Spirit gives life. Hallelujah. That's just what took place in the Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. 
See what Lord Jesus Christ spoke from the beginning of this world, for he was with God, he is God, he, he is the word of God. What Lord Jesus Christ spoke from the very beginning of time, amen, let there be light. That's Lord Jesus Christ now, amen, let there be light. Hallelujah, that's my Lord Jesus Christ, he said it. Holy Spirit said, done. <laughs> Hallelujah, right? Holy Spirit said, done. Faith received, right? Believe, speak, do it. Amen? Say it with me, do it. Hallelujah. Let's bless God, our Father, and let's just say, let there be light. Amen? There's many of you right now that's, 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 that's in a season. All God is saying is speak life. Speak light. Hallelujah. Speak Holy Spirit. Plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And watch what his anointing will do through your life, amen? Remember, we don't try to contain God right here, get out of our minds, amen? We rebuke that. Father God, we don't limit you in our human thinking, we trust, amen? We trust you, Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah? The spirit gives life. Verse seven, now if the ministry that brought death was engraved in letters on stone and came with glory, now listen, here God right now is pulling up the old covenant, the law of Moses, amen? Now for those of you right now, and I'm just going to say this, and I pray in Jesus' name that you continue in the worship service and don't allow the enemy to distract you and don't allow the enemy to make you say, oh, I don't need to hear it and hit, hit pause or get out, of the, get out of the worship service. I pray in Jesus' name that you hold fast, you hold firm to Christ, and you allow Holy Spirit to minister and speak to you. Amen? Because I found in the 13 years of ministry that this is the hardest message to hear when you're grounded in religion. When you're rooted in religion. And I'm going to tell you right now, God wants you to persevere through this and allow Holy Spirit, His light, to break through. Can I get an amen? Amen? We're going to go into this. Amen? We're not going to break away. Holy Spirit said... We're going to read until chapter, until verse 12. So we're going to go ahead and just read it all and allow Holy Spirit's anointing to bless us. Now, if the ministry that brought death, which was engraved in letters on stone, came with glory so that the Israelites could not look steadily at the face of Moses because of its glory, fading though it was, will not the ministry of the Spirit be even more glorious. If the ministry that condemns men is glorious, how much more glorious is the ministry that brings righteousness? For what was glorious has no glory now. Let me repeat that. Has no glory now in comparison, hallelujah, with the surpassing glory. And if that was fading away came with glory, how much greater is the glory of what will last? Amen? God's Word. Amen? God's Word. We read 2 Corinthians chapter 3, and we read from verse 7 all the way to 11. That here God right now is saying, and remember, here is the Apostle Paul, right? Pastor, teacher, evangelist. It's all Holy Spirit, amen? Reminding God's beloved children, listen, you're trying to take now back into account something that was glorified before Holy Spirit. See, what they're doing right now is they're actually taking the law of Moses, what was written on tablets. And they're associating Lord Jesus Christ with the law, but then they're forgetting about the new covenant of Holy Spirit. It's easy to do. There's many religions right now this day, many tons that teach this. But what is left out and what the devil loves to leave out is Lord Jesus Christ paid for everything in full. Lord Jesus Christ fulfilled everything of that law, the letters that was written on stone that was given to Moses. And see, that's how the glory manifested because here comes glory, hallelujah, 
His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And in God's glory, being filled, the per only perfect one, our Lord Jesus Christ, where Holy Spirit, where they fulfilled everything, God himself had to do it. And when everything was nailed to that cross, hallelujah, when everything was nailed to the cross, and God himself said, it is finished, tetelestai, right? It is finished, meaning paid for. That's what tetelestai means, paid for. God himself, hallelujah, said, it's done. It's done, everything. My glory is manifested and wait in three days. What happens on that third day? Hallelujah. Resurrection power of Holy Spirit, amen? The new covenant. And this is the new covenant right now that God is saying that's written on your heart, on my heart. Because we received Lord Jesus Christ in the perfect redemptive work that he did through the cross. Understanding and knowing that he is the perfect sacrifice of God Almighty. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. All right, let's finish up. Praise God. We're going to be in verse 12 now. Hallelujah. Therefore, <laughs> it's there for a reason. Amen. Therefore, since we have such a hope. Can you say that with me? Such a hope. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. That's Holy Spirit. Amen. We are very bold. We are Listen to what the Word of God says. Here we are in verse 13. We are not like Moses. All right? So glory to God, brother, brother Moses, as anointed, hallelujah, as he was. Amen? In the glory of God right now. Amen? He did a perfect work in what God wanted him to do. Amen? You and I both know it. Hallelujah? Anointed, blessed, amen? A relationship with the Father. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. And I'll tell you right now, with that anointing, hallelujah, he, he communicated everything that Holy Spirit wanted him to communicate. But what we have to understand, it was to prepare for the coming of our Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ, the perfect Holy One. Amen. This is why he did not enter into the promised land. This is why, because there's only one that can enter into the promised land. And his name is, you, you beat me to it, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's get into this. We are not like Moses who would put a veil over his face to keep the Israelites from gazing at it while the radiance was fading away. Say that with me, fading away. But their minds were made dull. For to this day, the same veil remains when the old covenant is read. To this day, when the word of God, written word of God, when Lord Jesus Christ, through his Holy Spirit, speaking to you and to me right now, this very day, when God says to this day, that is what's happening. Amen. That is what hap what's happening. If you allow in your heart to start idolizing something of the old covenant over Lord Jesus Christ, it's dead. It's dead. But when you take into account, say with me, take into account. When you take into account the entire Bible, hallelujah, the entire Holy Bible from front to back is God Almighty. Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, glory to God. That is agape. Amen. That is life-changing revelation because you read and you know because Holy Spirit teaches you and teaches me. Amen. Holy Spirit's the only teacher now. Amen. He is our only teacher. Everyone here knows at Open Arms Community Church. Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He is our God. Amen. Father God purchased us through Christ our Lord. Holy Spirit. Amen. Comes from Lord Jesus Christ through. Say that word. Through. Through the Father. Amen. Which means. Hallelujah. Which means. You say you know Lord Jesus Christ, but does he know you? Because the only way Lord Jesus Christ knows you is that the Father sent Holy Spirit to live in you. And the written word of God says, they, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, will make their eternal home in you. Hallelujah in me, in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. But their minds were made dull, for to this day the same veil remains when the old covenant is read. It has not been removed because only, say that word with me, only, because only in Christ it is taken away. Only Lord Jesus Christ has the power 
to tear that veil in half. Amen? This is why this world is filled with a bunch of doctrines, religions, paganism, idolatry, cults, because everyone wants to get away from the name Lord Jesus Christ, from the Lordship of Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there's this spiritualism now that's trending, right? Oh, you know, good spirits, good spirit. No, there's only one good. Holy Spirit. Can I get an amen? Say his name. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. There's only one good. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. But whenever anyone turns to the Lord, hallelujah, we're in verse 16. But whenever anyone turns to the Lord, say this with me. Let's say it together. The veil is taken away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only the blood of God through the perfect sacrifice will remove the veil, the deception, hallelujah, of the enemy. Amen. Now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we, hallelujah, say it with me, that's me. And we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Amen. So we covered all of 2 Corinthians chapter 3. And, and glory to God. I am so thankful that Holy Spirit teaches us. Amen. I am so thankful that as, as you know, for, for those of you who call Open Arms Community Church home, right? This is your home. I, I thank God. I thank God for the choice that you made to just stay planted, stay rooted. Amen. Uh, it's, it's amazing as far as what God does through a faithful child of God. Amen. Which means I'm not going to, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to be moved. I'm not going to be shaken. Amen. I'm going to stand firm in my Lord Jesus Christ. I know Holy Spirit that your anointing is teaching me. And I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you surround me with brothers and sisters that all they want to do is bless you, Father God, to be thankful. Amen. Beloved church family, I want to tell you for, for whoever's listening. That, that's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. From sun up, sun down, in my sleep, I just want to be thankful that my Lord Jesus Christ saved me. And that he did not leave me alone as an orphan. That now God Almighty made his home in me, in you. Amen? Amen? Why, why in, in Jesus' name do I continue to remind all of our beloved church family, people that I meet in the community, um, people that I may never even see just in that encounter that God divinely orchestrated. I always tell every soul, don't judge. Don't judge anybody. Don't. Don't judge. Forgive. Just bless God. Amen. The reason why is because Holy Spirit is alive in you and in me. And the glory of God is it's up to you how much you want. He'll give, he'll give you everything. Look at the cross. Amen. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray in Jesus' name that this word from Holy Spirit bless you. And that God anoints you with a fresh anointing. That his presence blesses you. And I thank God that he's given you the ability to speak life. Amen. To, to plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. And allow Holy Spirit to remove deception, right? To just cut it, cut it off, amen? And for us to say, Father, thank you for changing me. Thank you, Father, for blessing me to be everything that you paid for in your beloved child, amen? Thank you, Father God, that this is your marriage. Thank you, Father God, this is your relationships. Thank you, Father God, these are your children, amen? And watch what the anointing of God will do and is doing in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for your word through Lord Jesus Christ, who we eternally worship. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's through your living word, the Holy Spirit, we bless you. And we thank you for teaching us. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence that overflows. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your glory. Hallelujah. For your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, and for your glory, Holy Spirit, that lives in everyone 
of your beloved children, Father. Heavenly Father, I just speak a blessing over, over Open Arms Community Church, your holy church, Father God. I speak a blessing, Father God, over all of your beloved children, Father. I lift up this world, Father, and I thank you for healing your land. Father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for anything I've done or said to displease you, Father. And I'm sorry, Father God, that we continue to do that. And Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving us. But above all, Holy Spirit, speak to us. Comfort us. Teach us. Teach us, O oh Lord. And Father, we listen and obey. And Father God, I just thank you so much for blessing us with all your angels that are around us, ministering to us and fighting for us. For going before us and pushing evil far, far, far away, Father. And I just thank you so much, Father God, once again, that we are one body in you, Lord Jesus Christ, unified in one anointing through you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Father, and we thank you. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Now, if you want to give, praise God. We do have Sunday worship service. I pray that I see you all tomorrow morning if we're not raptured out of here in the next half an hour. Amen. And, um, and praise God, we do have uh, in-house worship service on Sunday mornings for now. But if you want to give electronically, that's also available to you at our website at oacchurch.com. Once again, that's oacchurch.com. And over there, there's an offering tab where you can give electronically and it is secure. Praise God. I thank you so much for blessing God with everything. Hallelujah. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. Amen. And I don't want to jump ahead, but my goodness, doesn't it though? Amen. I just love fellowshipping with brothers and sisters in Christ that just worship God because all of the testimony, all of the glory of God is, my goodness, gooder and gooder. Amen. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you guys so much. Trish and I pray for you all every day. More than, more than that, amen. More than that. But we just want to say thank you so much for your heart of worship, for blessing God first, amen, and being a blessing to everyone who is blessed to know you. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. Praise God. See you tomorrow morning unless we're raptured out here. So I'll see you in the next half an hour, amen. God bless you guys. Mwah.